Why eat a boring old ham sandwich when you could kick it up a notch on the Blackstone griddle? Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Let's get into it. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all doing splendid today. My name is Josh, and welcome to the first official episode of Fatty's Feasts, formerly known as Tubby Time. If you're a returning subscriber and you're wondering what happened, why did you change the name, check out our new and improved channel trailer that we just posted the other day. If you're a new viewer, welcome in. Hope you enjoy the content today. If you do, please like the video and check out our other videos across our channel. Now, it's been quite some time since we did a video, specifically a Blackstone Griddle video. So today I figured I'd show you an easy recipe to take your cold cut, boring sandwiches up to the next level. I first want to apologize to our subscribers for the lack of videos lately. As I mentioned in our last video, we were doing a tour of barbecue in Texas. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on that yet still, I, I might, but it was a really good experience. It was hot as hell and we came back to Connecticut and now it's cooler out. It's like 75 today, so it's perfect weather for this, but it was very hot. The other reason we haven't made many videos lately is my computer and my SD cards aren't reading. So I had to order some new SD cards. They're here. I can finally do a video. I've been wanting to for a while, so I apologize once again, but we should be back on track. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna be using this side of the griddle today. I have two zones on low heat. I'm gonna start with buttering our buns. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of butter down, because why wouldn't you butter buns? And these are just some plain old bulky rolls I'm going to throw down. And these are just gonna to toast for a few minutes. Now, if you're a cold cut fan, you cannot go wrong with this uncured Black Forest ham from Costco. They have a bunch of different varieties of cold cuts at Costco, and the price it can't be beat. Compared to a supermarket, I paid $9.10 for just under two pounds. Usually at supermarkets, you're looking at $7 a pound, so it's a great value. And once again, they have turkey, ham, chicken breast, whatever you'd like, you can find it at Costco. And that's what we're looking for right there. So I'm gonna take these off and throw them off to the side. Splendid and splendid. So I have five pieces of ham I'm gonna throw down here. It's really gonna take no time at all. It's already cooked, obviously, because you can eat them as cold cuts. So we just really need to warm them up. These are already pretty salty, so I'm just gonna throw some pepper down real quick. And within a few seconds, we can actually flip them. Now these are gonna shrivel up to perfect sandwich size, so I'll just stack them. And this one I'm just gonna cut in half using my spatula. I'll throw it on top of each one of those. Next I'm gonna put some cheese down. I have two different types of cheese. This is Colby Jack or Monterey Jack or something like that. And then we have cheddar. You can use any type of cheese you'd like, it doesn't matter. Also this cheese I got at Costco, it's like $10 for four pounds and you get Colby Jack, Monterey Jack, cheddar and Swiss. I'm not a huge Swiss person, but Kayla likes it so I give that to her and I eat the rest. While this is finishing up, I'm actually gonna turn these off. And now let's come over to the smoker where I have our plate. You can use any type of condiments you want. I like Dijon mustard and I also like mayo. Don't want too, too much, because that's disgusting. Do a nice tablespoon like so. I'm just gonna spread it out. Nothing is worse than biting into a sandwich and getting a mouthful of mayo. Attention, Subway, do better. It looks pretty good. And once we're done, we can focus on toppings. I love pepper, so I'm gonna throw some more down here, making sure I'm actually using the correct buns this time, unlike our frozen burger video. Now I keep it simple. I like pickles, so I'm just gonna throw some pickles on. I have these spears that I just break into thirds or whatever. And then we can take our marvelous cooked ham, or recooked ham. The cheese looks amazing, nice and melted. It's very hot. Why not throw a little bit more pepper on this side for good measure. And then we can close them up. Now let's cut one of these open and see what we're working with. That looks delicious. Well, you all know what time it is. It's time for a taste test. All right, let's try this out. It looks so good. You might be thinking the cheese is a little excessive because I put two thick pieces on. It's not. 
I'm not even going to try the cheddar one because I already know that's going to, well, actually, you know what? Maybe I will. Let's just give it a bite. Two totally different flavors. If I were to prefer one, I'd say the cheddar. It just has a little bit more of a bite to it. You know what cheddar tastes like, obviously, hopefully. But like I said, you can use any kind of cheese. American would be good. I prefer the cheddar. It tastes really, really good. And once again, a very simple, easy recipe you can do at home. You don't necessarily need a Blackstone griddle, like I said before. But you can use a pan. It takes two minutes, even though this video is probably like five or six. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. But it's, it turns everything up a notch. Don't settle for boring sandwich meat. You know, cook it up. Melt some cheese. Put some toppings on it. It's going to be delicious. Once again, I wholeheartedly thank you for checking out our channel, Fatty's Feasts. We do Blackstone griddle recipes. We do smoker recipes formerly known as Tubby Time. Don't forget, don't get confused. If you liked what you saw today, please drop us a like, give us a comment. We like interacting with you guys, so we want to hear about what kind of recipes you want us to make next time out here in our kitchen or even desserts or whatever you want to have us do. We'll, we'll do anything, trust me. Not everything, but as long as there's no mushrooms involved. But until next time, everyone, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and we're still going to say it, stay tubby. Thanks again. <laughs>